My name is Caesar. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Last time we rebuilt our new rural neighborhood, which kind of turned out to be like too crowded for me. So I rebuilt it and made it a bit more rural with some crazier spaghetti looking roads. Built a new forestry zone, which helped our production significantly. We expanded a zone over here a little bit to include an elementary school as well as some low residential housing. And I think that looks really phenomenal. And then we started building our kind of more populated area, which again, it's not going to be like high density. It's all going to be low density things over here. Everything over here is going to be low density and I think it'll be fantastic. But we have a very good start to a new, I guess this would be like a new city, right? This is a uh, Brookfield over here, but this would be a new city. I should really z finish zoning that in, <laughs> but this would be a new city. And I don't have any names for this. So if you have a cool name that could, uh, be named for this place that could be used for a name for this place i think you know let me know down below i'd be happy to use it uh but please consider subscribing hit the like button leave a comment down below let me know uh, what you had for breakfast or something it's just for the engagement because youtube likes engagement so i appreciate it so much let's get started so i want to continue on with what we left off last time and a big part of that was finishing this high school well the high school's done right we're done with that but i want to start zoning in some housing in this area to fill in this area and make it feel a little bit more alive because right now this fancy high school here without any homes near it it's kind of bothering me <laughs> so i want to start making some housing adjustments here right and we're going to go us off with something like this we'll use our continuous road tool just to fill in this area as best we can i'm kind of following the topography as best i can here right so that's, you can kind of tell what i'm trying to do with that i don't like how that bent too much i'm going to go ahead and do our complex road curve tool just follow that out like this Follow that over here and then probably just end it here. I think that'd be good to go. We'll probably build off here and go up here and build some more housing up there. But I think for now that works. And over here you can get a little bit kind of gritty and I think that'll be fine. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just pull this road off probably until here. So it doesn't mess with the terrain too much. And then we can start gritting a little bit. So I don't want to destroy all that grass with my roads. So I'm okay with a little bit of off spacing. Something like that. Uh, maybe. Yeah, that's fine. We'll go up. 128 meters. We'll go over. 150. And that'll be our grid here. Nothing crazy. So again, up 128. Probably not even going to be able to because of that hill. So we're not going to. We're going to go with... Uh, our grid's going to change up a little bit because of the change in uh, environment. So I don't want to mess with it too much. So we'll go something like this. There we go. Then we'll use our uh, simple curve tool, connect that up, and then we'll just simply make some connections as we go to continue this grid here without messing everything up too much. So now we can go up here. And again, we can go over 128. Oh, not that way. There we go. 128. Then we can go over 152. Make a connection and have another square. Again, over 128, up 152. Make that connection. Nice grid. And now we have a bunch of random roads that don't go anywhere with each other. So the way we connect these is just simple connections like this. Uh, there we go. And we can leave this unconnected here. I think that'll be fine. And I think that kind of works. This will be like a good starter area, and I think that's going to work out. Over here, I don't really want to do much with this besides maybe a couple of connections. I think that'll be fine. But past this, I think I'm going to leave it to stay with that kind of level of density and I think that'll be fine. Now I want to push back this road a little bit here because I realized we're, I kind of messed up and I want to push our four lane road here to continue past this roundabout just to continue on this way so it'll can, it can carry a lot of the heavier traffic that's going to be here eventually, which I, I say heavy, but it's going to be low density traffic anyway. But with a couple thousand, you know, with a few hundred people in here, maybe a couple thousand people in here, I'm not really sure what that's going to be. But I want to ensure we have enough infrastructure in place to carry that traffic without causing major mayhem, right? So uh, we got this here. I think we'll place this road here. And then we're going to curve this road here onto this highway. Bam, now we got a highway connection here. And we're going to replace this with a roundabout just like that. And now this area can handle a bunch of the traffic. Plus, it'll lead to a secondary connection for the highway, which will just fix any traffic issues we may be having. 
And I want to fix some of this terrain issue because this is very steep. So the way we'll do that is we'll back this up, we'll back this up, back that up a little bit more. And then we're going to go into our uh, terrain tools. We're going to go into our terraforming. We're going to go into our slope terrain tool and we're going to right click up here to grab this height. Then we're going to come to the bottom to start making our ramp all the way up to that terrain level. And that creates a very flat surface, which then we can build with. So now we got to measure this to make sure it's still not going to be too steep. So we can go ahead and grab our road here again and start curving it up. We, we can fix the curve later, but I don't want it more than like three or something percent. So even another curve works like that. It's only 3.6%. That's not bad at all. That's a pretty decent, that's a pretty decent slope and I'm okay with it. There we go. This is going to provide connection to our roads here and as well providing connection uh, to a secondary intersection. So all this traffic that we route through here will just be fine and I'll be overcrowding one intersection and it'll be fine. So now that we have that going, we can go ahead and grab this road here and we can just kind of connect this up to the roundabout. Oh, they're not going to do it like that. Let's back this up a little bit and we'll bring a little bit of a road up. I see why it's doing that. I need to grab this tool. So tool there, something like that. Bring that here, curve that into there and that'll be fine. There we go. All right. I think this is going to work pretty well, so I'm actually excited. I don't like how this turned out, so I'm going to back this up. And this is going to curve this way and start heading up into this area up here. That'll be fine. We'll figure out what, what we'll do with that later. But for now, I want to start zoning up a little bit of this area. And obviously, we're going to use some commercial lots for the zone. And I think here as a general section for commercial kind of makes sense. It's closer to the main area and it's still close enough to uh, the residential where they're not going to have to travel so far. So we'll go with something like this. I think it'll be fine. There we go, like that. And then we'll get a few more properties on here. This will zone up as low residential. And right now it's obviously horrible for them because there's no population in this area. But as we start to zone this population, it'll fill in enough to where the businesses will have enough population to actually work with. I think it'll be really great. If you can also see also have, oh, I didn't mean to do it that way. Um, how can we do this? I wish we could select different housing types at the same time. You know, I think that'd look really cool. But it doesn't seem like we can. So I'm having to manually go in here and zone different types of, uh, <laughs> you know, versus you know, the North American houses versus the European ones. And I wish you could do like a mixed brush that would allow you to do both. Right, because I think that'd be pretty unique. Hopefully one day we're able to do that because that'd be really cool. There we go. And I think I want to keep traffic off of this road here. It's kind of a weird slant. So we're going to get rid of that zoning there. And then we'll just zone this all the way up here. And that'll be fine. Perfect. This will fill in super nicely. And we'll go like that. Go like that. Like that. So I meant to leave space for pathing, but uh, I think we'll be fine without it. I think so anyway. We'll find out. <laughs> uh, there we go. There we go. And then something like this. That'll be fine. But I think this will fit the area very nicely and kind of... We'll, we'll, we'll do a couple waterfront properties too. There's no reason we can't do this in some places. It's not like there has to be water for these to be waterfront properties, you know? So I'm going to just put a couple in random places too. I got to just look really nice. There we go. Something like that. And we can do like a small apartment building. Something super small. Nothing... Nothing insane, right? Just super small apartment building, just like that. And then we can do some regular houses there. And that'll fill in nicely. Got some pool houses here. Will be good with me. And then maybe just another little bit of residential there. And 
No, that doesn't really make sense for this area. We'll just grab another pool property there, and that'll be good. There we go. Yeah, there's no demand for low residential right now. <laughs> it's because I kind of used it all, but it's all right. It'll fill in over time because there's going to be a demand for any sort of housing, especially as we go, because we're not really paying attention to our demands anymore because, well, our economy is in a very good spot. We're making $42,000 an hour. That's just super good. Obviously, we're playing with the 420, with the 529 mods, the 529 tile mods. So, like, we don't really have many bills to pay, like, when it comes to tile expenses, but it's all right. <laughs> I'll take any free money I can get. For a while, we were struggling there, so I'm okay with having a bit of a freebie for a little bit. I want to fix some of this terrain because this is really bothering me how this is turning out. So we're going to go ahead and push this back slightly, ever so slightly. How many employees does this have? 85 employees. Actually, pretty well. So this uses vegetables and livestock and it produces food, which is very good because recently we've had issues with food where we don't have enough of it. <laughs> well, we did for a while. I don't know if it's still an issue, but it was causing a lot of issues. But now we get an extra 2% profits on exports, which is really nice. So if we're producing enough food and things like that, or enough exports of anything, honestly, we'll get an extra 2% in profit, which is really good. Plus our indus industries perform 2% better. That's really nice to see. Looks like our storage is actually starting to go up now. It's not really getting maintained and kept down. I'm gonna go ahead and add another one of these processing units. And it'll be very good to just keep up with the demand because I want to keep this number going down, right? Because if we can keep this number going down, it won't get full and we won't have to deal with any issues with that being full. And I think that'll be really good to go. So we'll just leave that there for now. We'll, we'll keep an eye on it just to make sure we're able to process everything that's going through. But I think we're going to be in a good spot. I think some issues over here with medical and things like that, but it's because we haven't had enough money to put in a hospital. But now we're getting to the point where we're about to have enough money for a hospital. So we'll be able to actually take care of that relatively soon. Uh, what's up with the, what's up with this? We'll have to do a revisit of this area to kind of fix that up. Also, what's up with these dead trees? I have no idea. There, there must've been some sort of forest fire. Anyways, back to our uh, new neighborhood here. <laughs> there we go. And I'm just gonna do just super deliberate zoning. Um, Not like that. I wanna do there we go. Kind of the angle that I wanted. We'll go all the way through there. Oh, real estate agent's mansion. Okay. That works, right? Yeah, that kind of works. Unless you look closely. It looks phenomenal. There we go. Okay. A bit of a fence there definitely brings that area together, and I really like that. It's actually really nice. I like that. We're going to leave this here, but I think this is a good start to this area. Not to this area, but to this mansion here. 
I'm sure we'll retouch it as we go, but I think that's really good. These fences definitely helped it come together, and I think it's a good move. For sure. All right. Well, whoever lives here is very, very poor. So hopefully somebody with money moves in there eventually, and it kind of makes more sense for them to be there. But uh, yeah, good progress. Good progress. Well, so we have 40,000 people. It's really fantastic. I just realized that. Or did we hit that last episode? No, I think we were still at 38,000 last episode. I actually don't remember checking, so <laughs> I have no idea. Now, how are our city services over here? Mail is obviously horrible. We'll give them their own mailbox over here. We'll put a mailbox by the school. Mailbox in this neighborhood will be fine. I already had a mailbox in here. Clearly not. There we go. Mailbox in here. And that covers the whole area. That'll be fine. It's fantastic. How many students go here now? 95. Okay, it's not bad. It's, you know, people that live here, do they have their students that go here and things like that. So it's starting to get formed out very well, and I like that a lot. I don't like how everybody lives on this one road, though, so I'm going to start gridding this out a little bit. I don't know what the solves or anything like that, but it's gonna roll with it. <laughs> oh no. There we have it. I suppose it's, hey, the road's already getting usage, so I'll take it. Plus it's closer to the school for these houses to just go this way. Instead of all the way around, I think it just works a little bit smoother. But uh, I'm really enjoying this. Let's go ahead and get a little bit more commercial zoning here. I'm sure there's a need for that because these homes need stores. Things like that, so we'll accommodate as best we can. These houses here just look, just feel very out of place. Very out of place. But one thing that would look actually not bad here is the new welfare office. Ooh, maybe not. This thing's massive. I didn't realize how big that was. It'd be nice to get our city hall somewhere too city hall with a big old park and stuff like that. That'd be pretty sick. Sick? I don't know why I said it like that, but it'd look pretty cool. Uh, can we replace this area with the parking lot? Like once you use Anarchy once, you gotta keep using it. If not, it breaks everything. <laughs> not good. Uh, we're gonna leave this connection off. I wish this didn't have the double connection. I really don't. I wish it just had the single connection, but can't wish for too much, I guess. Uh, we'll get the straight road here. Connect this all the way up. And just like that. There we go. Now with this, we can bring in a couple of offices in here. I feel like the office would kind of make sense a little bit. Uh, yeah, let's bring whatever that is. Oh, come on. We have a demand for offices. There we go. A couple of offices make sense in this area. We can do some commercial the rest of the way. I don't like how this is going to fit, so we're going to demolish, demolish, demolish. And demolish that, demolish, 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 demolish. Imagine I put down, like, a random factory in here. <laughs> Just make everybody angry. Uh, got a small park. Small plaza. Oh, plaza's huge. Small park. Bam. I think we have enough leisure, though, for everybody here in this area, though, so I don't think it's going to be an issue. There we go. There we have it. Oh! Is our water park being used now? That's very high crime rate, apparently. Oh, there's no road connection to this thing, so that no one's able to service this area, huh? Well, crap. I really didn't want a connection to this road here. Um. 
Something like that, I guess. Can we get rid of this light? There we go. There we go. Now we have vehicles servicing this area. My bad. <laughs> These businesses have been out of materials and everything like that for a while now. They haven't been able to do anything. This place is just full of garbage. There we go. Here comes the mail trucks and things like that servicing the area now. Uh, park maintenance vehicles on their way. Well, it's considered a park. Okay. I assume there's a trash truck will be coming here soon too. Oh, the maintenance is 6%. Yeah, no, one, no wonder nobody wants to come here. It's like the worst rated park in the history of the planet. Uh, I also wouldn't want to come here. Those boats are very loud. Got some European lots in here. Why not? I think there's a big European hotspot, huh? No way we have heavy traffic, right? Okay, no way. <laughs> it's a car accident. What did he do? Crash on his own? Doesn't even make sense. How is our road? How are our roads doing? Roads are all fantastic. I'm sure we'll have a guy here in no time anyway. And yeah, we got a bunch of road fixer guys here anyway, so that's fantastic. We're good progress. At least I think so anyway. <laughs> all right. Next thing I want to do for this area is start providing a bit of bus routes in this area, right? Um, and I think... I don't know where to put the bus depot, though. I don't want buses to travel from the city way over here. So we can get a bus out here, so... If I put a bus depot out here, does that work? Um, how loud is this thing? Medium noise pollution. Okay, this is fairly loud. So... This bus depot's about to get its own little area. There we have it. And we're going to get our bus depot. Slam it right there. Fantastic. Good to go. And I think we'll get a bus station here for this area. I think it'll make sense. So we'll get a bus shelter. Let's switch to America. Bus shelter's here. And we will do a bus stop here. Sure. And this first bus route can service this side. Next bus route can service this side, and that'll be fantastic. So, bus through here. Bus can hit this area here. Hit the elementary school grounds. Go across the street. Hit our cemetery. Why not? Why can't we put a bus stop? Oh, it's because of that weird stuff. Uh, gosh, I hate that so much. Okay. Bus stop over here. Yeah, we'll do a bus here. Then we'll do a bus in. Bus here. And then it'll just come back down and finish that loop up and they'll be fine. So, bus line tool. I'm just gonna get a small bus station. Uh, sure, right there works. All right, bus line tool. We're gonna start a bus route here. Go ahead and hit that. We'll hit, we'll hit that shopping center last. There, there, here, right, yeah. Then it'll go over here. Hit this place up right there. And head back over here. Hit up the shopping center. Then hit the bus station. That's fantastic. Is this finished? Um. Oh, there we go. Okay, now it's finished. So this bus is going to come from here now because this is the closest stop. It is. Okay. We'll do electric buses here. And we'll do... Station services, small kiosk, and cafe. Yeah, we'll, we'll get some station services. Why not? Extra platforms, taxi stop. Uh, yeah, we'll increase some comfort here for you guys. Why not? Nice little cafe. Fantastic looking place. We got like 19 buses for this area for some reason. Or we lower that bus count. <laughs> it's probably an excessive amount of buses. Anyways, next we're going to look at another bus, bus line going for this area over here. 
That'll be good to go. We have a lot of traffic here. That'll be fine, though. We'll, we'll get bus routes connecting the two bus stations, and it'll be good. It'll, it'll be fine. All right. Next bus stop. All right. It's already there. So it's the bus station. And then, and then what? That's in here. Boom. Bus stop. We'll make a right. Hit this area. Come back out over here. Hit this neighborhood. Hit this neighborhood. Loop back around in here. Hit the high school. Boom. Hit this neighborhood. And it's fine there. And then we'll end up back at the bus station and that'll be great to go. So starting up a new bus line, starting up at the second, second, there we go. And what did I say? Uh, we're gonna go over here, connect to here. Then we're gonna go right. We're gonna connect here, right? Yeah, that's fine. And then we'll end up over here. Yep, end up over here. Hit this bus route. Hit the high school. Hit this bus stop. And then we'll end up back at the bus station with our second route being finished. And that'll be good to go. Bam, two bus routes complete. Super fantastic. Now I want to get a bus station that connects the two areas, right? So we're going to get a bus route that goes from here. And it's going to have one purpose, right? This bus is going to go to the other bus station and back. And that's it. Nothing else in between. Add a bus stop there. And just all the way back. That's it. Bam. See you in a couple seconds. Okay. This has been running for a little bit. Maybe five minutes. So I want to look, take a look at the statistic and see what's going on here. Let's go to our lines. There are three newest lines and we'll see. Okay, utilization is bad, obviously. <laughs> It's a very rural area, right? There's not many people over here, so that kind of makes sense. All right, I expected it. We've got a line details for this. How many buses do we have running on this? Every bus is running empty, pretty much. So we'll leave it alone. We'll leave whatever buses it took and just leave it like that. But we might see some uptick on this newest stop, taking people from city to city. But I think it'll be fine. I'm not worried about it. Also, somebody said we can connect bus station, right? If we go to our bus station. We can connect the route that goes to the outside of the world, like to a different city outside of the world. Or something like that. Uh, outside of the city. At a new waypoint. Oh, okay. Then we'll just run that bus all the way back here. Now there's an exterior connection, which I think is going to be really cool. Okay. I don't even know if we have enough buses for all of this, but we're going to find out. <laughs> uh, okay, well, let's look at that new bus route and see how many buses it's going to utilize. So if we go here, we go bus lines, newest bus line here. How many buses is it going to use? Six buses? We'll, 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 we'll do five, okay? We'll save one bus. And I think that'll be good to go. I really love this beginning area of our city that we did. It just looks so nice. I look forward to expanding this in the future over here and things like that. Get in another neighborhood and things like that. That'll be so nice to see. There we go. But I'll say I'm also happy with what we've got going over here. Gives kind of the same vibe, you know? We gotta do some decorating with pathing and things like that eventually, but we have a good start to a new kind of town over here and i think it's really nice we're trying to see this thing this is going to fill up this area here and be done that, that, that that's about it you know there's not much to this area it's going to be pretty low-key how much how many students do we have now 140 students now at our high school actually growing pretty well i expected less so elementary school is completely full <laughs> 700 <laughs> but that's all right i know we have buses so if any students live in the other city they can take the bus to this bus station, hop on the other bus, and then head to school. And that works like that. You can kind of tell our busiest stop is right there. Our city bus stop. City bus line. And, uh, you know, you can tell why. There's no, there's no reason to take buses in this area. 
but I really like the low, the rare car you see out here. It's not that much traffic out here at all. I really like that. Yeah, everything's turning out super nice. I'm super pumped with how all of this is going, if I'm being honest, and that gets me more excited to keep playing this save. But I have other stuff to do today, so I'm going to have to end the video here shortly today. So thank you so much for joining me. Please consider hitting the like button, hit the subscribe button. It means the world, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.